Hello friends, this is Arundeep and in this video we are going to talk about Madhya Pradesh state. So that's me and you can read more about me over here. You can rate, review and recommend these videos. So Madhya Pradesh literally means central province. Its capital is Bhopal and other last cities are Jabalpur and Indore. And recently Indore and Bhopal, these two emerged as the cleanest cities in the country as per massive cleanliness survey which was commissioned by Union Urban Development Ministry. That is Indore replaces Mysore as the cleanest city. And this state is often named as the heart of India mainly because of its geographical location. And also Madhya Pradesh is the second largest state in the country by area. And before 2000 when Chhattisgarh was a part of the state, Madhya Pradesh was the largest state. And it shares border with Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh and Uttar Pradesh. And this state is rich in mineral resources and has largest reserves of diamond and copper. And more than 30% of its area is under forest cover and its official language is Hindi. However, Urdu and Marathi are often spoken by large number of population since the state was home to several important Maratha states. And in fact that the state has the highest concentration of Marathi people outside Maharashtra. And uh, Barasinga is the state animal of this state. Now coming to the mountain ranges in Madhya Pradesh, you can see Vindhyas over here. You can see Gavilgar on the borders of Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. You can see Mahadev Hills, Maikal Hills and Kaimur Range on the border of Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. And you can even see Bandra Range over here. Now let's see major plateaus in the state. The first one is Bundelkhand Plateau. So this includes 5 districts of UP and 4 districts of Madhya Pradesh. And another plateau is Betul Plateau over here which is between Mahadev and Gavilgar Hills. And it is a source of Tapi River. Next we have Amar Kantak Plateau over here that's on the border of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. It is a source of Narmada and Son River. Next here we have Bundel, uh, Bagilkan Plateau. Now coming to the rivers. So Narmada is the longest river in the state and it flows through a rift valley. And Narmada River is uh, often considered as sake and it is worshipped throughout the region. And its main source is Amar Kantak Plateau. And from Amar Kantak Plateau you can see even Son River which joins Yamuna. So Amarkandak Plateau is the source of Narmada and Son. And another major river is Tapi River which almost flows parallel to the Narmada River uh, whose source is Bethel Plateau. And Narmada tributary is Purna River. Now you see major rivers uh, that is Chambal River which originate from Vindhyas and its tributaries are Kali Sindhi, Parvati, Sindh. And from Aravalis also remember we have this Banas River which is a tributary of Ch Chambal. And Chambal itself is a tributary of Yamuna. Then other rivers which flows through this state are Betwa, which is a tributary of Yamuna. And Betwa tributary is Dhasan. And other river is Kane River, which originate from Vindhyas. So all these rivers are the major rivers in the state. You just try to remember the order from east to west and west to east. So that's it. We'll see national parks. So Madhya Pradesh is a home to nine national parks. The first one is uh, Penna National Park over here, Sanjay National Park, Bandagwa National Park here, Kana National Park. Kana is the largest national park of Madhya Pradesh and this park has a significant population of Bengal tigers, Indian leopards, sloth bear, Barasinga, Indian wild dog. Next we have Pench National Park. So Pench, uh, name it derives from the Pench River that flows through this park from north to south. It divides the park into almost equal parts that is western and eastern halves. And next we have uh, Mandla Plant Fossil National Park over here. Next we have Satpura National Park. One Vihar National Park which is located in Bhopal. That is the capital city of Madhya Pradesh. And then we have Madhav National Park. Now coming to the tiger reserves. We have Pena National Park as a tiger reserve. Sanjay National Park is a tiger reserve. Bandavgar, Kana, Pench and Satpura all these are national parks as well as tiger reserves. Now coming to the biosphere reserves, we have three biosphere reserves in this state. First one is Panna Biosphere Reserve where key fauna include tiger, cheetal, chinkara and sloth bear. Next we have Panchmari Biosphere Reserve which includes three wildlife conservation units that is Bori Sanctuary, Panchmari Sanctuary and Satpura National Park. And here the key fauna include flying squirrel and giant squirrel. And another one is Achanakamar Amarkantak Biosphere Reserve where the key fauna include four horn antelope, Indian wild dog, Saras crane, white drum vulture. So here remember that these two are UNESCO recognized 
Biosphere Reserves under Man and Biosphere Program. So three sites have been declared as World Heritage Site in Madhya Pradesh. The first one is Khajurao Group of Monuments, second Sanji Stupas and Bhimpetka Rock Shelters. Now coming to the lakes, first we have Bostal Lake. Earlier it was known as Upper Lake and it is a major source of drinking water for the residents of the city. That is almost 40% of the residents. And here we have a small lake and both these constitute Bhoj wetland which is a Ramsar site. Next we have Indra Sagar Lake which is an artificial lake created by Indra Sagar Dam which is built on Narbada river and it is the largest artificial lake of India in terms of volume of water. Now coming to the tribes, the main tribal groups in Madhya Pradesh are Gons, Bills, Baiga, Bharia, Halba and Saharia. So Gons are the largest in central India, they are like the Adivasi people, they are spread across the states called uh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, AP, Telangana, Orissa, UP and Bihar. Now finally coming to the folk dance, Goar is a famous folk dance of Madhya Pradesh. Here men with drums usually move in a circle and create a variety of dancing patterns. As a part of the dance they even attack one another and even chase the female dancers. So this is a unique dance in the state. So that's all about the Madhya Pradesh state and in the next video we will going to talk about Chhattisgarh. Thank you.